eyesight's actually important. So apologies for that. So uh, categorically not a poet, uh, definitely. This um, poet, ba poet basically came about because I was away at a creative retreat, which is like a non-hierarchical creative retreat a couple weeks ago, and some of the people that were in it. Um, but I, so I turned 21 in 12 days, which means that I've been out almost seven years um, as a lesbian. Don't know any lesbians? Ooh, if you know how. Um, and for me, especially because I've been a campaigner at such a young age, my experiences of like being queer was always like quite traumatic and always associated with like protesting or like sort of violence happening and it was never to be happy and I didn't know any happy day poetry. So I decided to write about happy day poetry. <laughs> Bottom lip between her teeth, lipstick and tap. Still. Yeah. Kiss me now, please. I go to speak, but no words come out. Mouth, game, ready. Griffin sing summer songs, children shriek their laughter in the back garden, hiding pools, English people in caves. Bright smooth and skies shine, but here the world is nothing in shadow, half gold and waiting summer back. Even the air is still, still in anticipation, waiting. Silent transition, and then you really need to sort out your eyebrows. <laughs> smirking, smirking, smirking meets a scowl, part put on, part put out. Here, I'll do it. She retrieves not one, not two, but three pairs of tweezers from her back. Pink, lilac, teal. Examines them and selects the lilac. Clambers back into my lap. Thumb pressed into soft fly for balance, her lips head steady on mine. Pardon me. A deaf jeweler's hand plucked precisely, thumb rubs across the brow line, tongue clenched, seeking out the strays. She knows exactly what she is doing with me, and I wish I could say the same. Finally, pause, breathe, marveling at her handiwork, standing back in observation as if I were one of her creations, moldable, malleable, metal, dazzling. Maybe she knows she can help me. Smirks a smug smile, staring, kiss me, now, please, I'm not begging, not yet. I think this might be it, but now she sighs. You don't have an eyebrow pencil, do you? <laughs> no, I say, I use my fingers, and she puts back without hesitation while they have to be good for something. She's learning my lines. Tutting. Firstly, you don't own any matching socks, and now this. What am I supposed to do with you? Half disapproval, half teasing, calmly edging and trepidation towards something we both don't really have the words for. Teetering. Staring. What big eyes you have. Rosy fingered door creaks in through quivering curtains, eyes flutter open, and there is you, staring. We wake up lying endways in my bed, limbs interlocking, pressed together gently, my fingers wrapped around your waist. We stare as if to say, what the hell have we done? But the answer, of course, is each other. I fall back asleep, dazed. The London air is bracing as you leave, cars screech, metal gate clangs, little blows in the breeze, a chorus of clouds gathering grey monotony, and I am there feeling cold inside. A hug, eyes belting back and forth in case any neighbour sees and judge. A quick peck, a hug, you need to be mouth again. Kiss me now, please. 